Hello everybody. Hi, I am Kirti, Kirti Jo, and I'm the member of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Today, I'm with my another video where we will study the differences in male and the female skeleton. The topics to be covered in this presentation are function of skeleton, female skeleton, male female pelvic cell skeleton, male skeleton, and male and female skeleton. There are very minute differences in the skeleton of male and female. The male skeleton is heavier and larger than the female skeleton. Main differences are seen in pelvic region, skull region and in rib cage. Now we will study about the function of skeleton. The main function of skeleton is in movement by provide the strong, stable mobility so that muscles can act properly it also act as a major support system and protect other other body organs externally when we distinguished between the male and female skeleton the sexual dimorphic regions are chest lower face area and the area between waist and the knees next is uh, that male waist region is larger as compared to their hips whereas female hip section is larger as compared to the men's in women's the length of ring finger and index finger is quite similar but in males the length of ring finger it tends to be longer now we will study about the female skeleton the female skeleton is less bumpy and much, much, much smoother as compared to male skeleton. In female skeleton, the rib cage is more rounded and smaller, and its lumbar curve is generally greater and larger. The pelvis reason in the female skeleton is the main reason that the, that is used for the differentiation between the male and the female skeleton. The female pelvis is quite broader because it is adapted for the gestation and the childbirth. But in male skeleton, it is quite smaller in size. In female skeleton, as acetabula are located further apart, which increases the distance between the outer point of femur and ultimately increase the distance of width of hips. In this slide, a pictorial representation of male and female pelvic girdle is shown. Now we will study about the male skeleton. The male skeleton is more bumpy, thicker and rougher in texture as compared to the female skeleton as males have large muscle so their skeleton bears more attachment sites and the pelvic region of the male is quite narrow as compared to the female skeleton males have denser and stronger bones ligaments and tendons they have more pronounced adensepal due to large vocal cords in male, the index finger it tends to be shorter than the ring finger, which is of similar size in female skeleton. The teeth of males are larger in size as compared to the female. The mandible of males are larger, wider and squarer in shape as compared to female. In male and female skeleton, both have 12 pairs of ribs.